Welcome back guys, I'm Griff. This is Let's Play Red Dead Redemption 2. We're gonna go to a party! And I don't know why... I don't, I don't know where I'm supposed to go if the road's over here. I just got momentarily lost. Don't mind me. You okay, boy? Oh. Hey, friend. What's wrong with you? Everybody. I'm sorry, I don't know what I'm doing. That guy was just sitting there, to be fair. Oh, Piggy! What is the problem? What is wrong with this area of town? Uh, you can't not run into things this place. I tried to say hello, but apparently that's not gonna happen. Hey there! Oh, because he was thinking about saying hello. What are you doing? Adam! Uh, okay, so he's gonna set up his thing right there. We'll just have to come back to that. All right, back to camp. It's so bright and foggy. Hey there, Mister. Yes, I'm being polite. I realized that first video or yesterday's video, the first one today, ended up being like forty something minutes long. And I feel bad about that, but also there were no videos last week, so you get an extra long video to start this week. Yeah, you know, I guess it works out. Yes, yeah, that's cool. This one might be a long one, too. I think the dinner party thing is kind of lengthy. So, you know, get some snacks, make your drinks. Evening. Get comfy. Well, it's not like YouTube doesn't have a pause button, though. You know, in case you don't make it all the way through, it'll hold your spot. As long as you're signed in. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at this orange. Hey, mister. Orange is my favorite color. I like this shade a lot. It's pretty. Yep. Oh, the sun's going down. I need to hurry. Okay, that's... I was like, is it early morning or late night? Or evening? It's evening. Oh, no. I need to get to camp and go to sleep before we go to our dinner party. Test me. Yeah, good boy. Running up the pigs. Ah, I win. Yeah, good boy. Oh, it's about it up. Uh-oh. Help! Somebody, please help me! Oh! Hey, you! Please! You gotta help me! Okay. Some fellas broke into our place. I got away, but... They got my wife! Please, mister! You uh -oh. gotta do something. Okay. All right. Where is she? It's a sack out in the swamp by the water. <laughs> okay. Go okay. on, see now, if but... you can find the law. I'll do what I can. Uh, the downside of being a good guy. I can't say no to that kind of stuff. Yeah, okay, boy. I don't like being in the swamp at all, much less at night. I can't see anything. There's probably alligators everywhere. Oh, I can't take a shortcut through the water. Ah, okay. Yeah, okay, boy. I heard it. I saw it on my mini map. I didn't see it in the game because it's so dark. Uh, you want to go through this water? Oh, look at the baby alligator. Whoa. Whoa. You're going to grow up Easy. to be a really big and scary Whoa. thing. Whoa. All right. You stay here. Don't, no, no. Please don't go anywhere dangerous. Oh, I need guns. Probably. Uh, I'll take that one. Alright. Uh, looks like I'm gonna have to wade across. Possibly swim. I'm coming, lady. <laughs> oh, just kill me. My brother died and look at you for one more second. How do I get up there? Oh, you gonna hurt my feelings. Oh, my Oh, please, please, please untie me now! I'm coming to 
wanted to get you. I just had to get my hat. I'm sorry. Uh, cut free. Sorry I weren't here sooner. Oh, 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 thank the law you showed up when you did. <sighs> okay. Here, you're safe now. I'm sorry there are dead people in your house. You saved my honor. Christ, what a mess. Yeah, I know. Would you please get them out of here? Oh. I can't stand to touch them. And I okay. don't want them rotten indoors. Okay, let me get this guy. I'll just throw him out in your swamp. It doesn't seem like that'll be too big of a deal. Them out here in the water or something. And dead guy. Alright, next dead guy. Oh, it's raining now. Loot this guy. Just one more. I I know, I know. I'm just stealing his money first. And stuff. His stuff too. I'll go put them out here. On the other side. They're like lawn decorations. Gator food. Sorry. All right. There's some money I put away in the sack there. It ain't enough, but please take it. What? You want me to take your money? I feel kind of bad about that. Inspect. Oh, thank you again. You're my garden angel. No problem. I, I tried to do what I can about being nice and stuff. Fifty dollars. Appreciate it. Good luck to you. Well, I, I definitely feel bad about that. Alright, where's my horse? Don't get eaten by alligators. Where are you going, pony? Pony. Hey, I'm right here. Come here. Where are you going? What are we doing? Hey. Okay, there. Now, let's, uh, oh, Do I have a lantern? Will that make a difference? Oh. I mean, I guess a little bit. Not really. It doesn't really help. Makes it look neat right around me, but then I can't see anything else. So let's put that away. Oh, shit. It's a little alligator. A baby one. Oh good. Easy there. <laughs> I want to get out of the swamp. Ah, this place is scary and I don't like it. <sighs> I just know that I'm going to get eaten or my horse. Right, one of us is going to get eaten by an alligator. One of us is definitely. It's me. It's me. Right. Thank God I'm here. Welcome back. Ugh, right? Good to be uh, back. Alright, let's park you right here. Hitch my pony for the night. There we go. Arthur! Arthur, get over here! I, okay, give me- I don't know. I don't want to do whatever it is that you want me to do, Uncle. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go take a nap. And then I'm gonna go do the dinner party uh, thing. Let's get you looking nice. There we go. Good pony. Okay, you have a good night, good pony. Night. I'll be back in the morning. Uh, excuse me, excuse me, pardon me, excuse me. Oh, it's Micah. Oh, I'm so good. Is that Karen singing? Sure. So can I use my lantern inside? No, apparently that's only on the pony. I'm also sleepy, Jack. Well, Arthur is, but uh, I am not. I'm still drinking coffee. Kind of waking up a little bit. I think at this point there's no point at which Karen is not drunk. Oh look, it's morning. Give me the, the button for the bed. Sleep. I will sleep until noon. The stew should be ready by noon. I like that somebody just put this 
medicine thing right there on the bed. No big deal. I'll probably just sleep on top of it. It's, it's fine. It'll probably be there tomorrow. Okay. We're awake. Yep. See, it's still there. Just slept on top of it. guns before I uh, go off on this mission. I feel like I probably need... Is that Trelawney in there? It is. Trelawney. Arthur? Hey, Arthur. Oh, no, I don't want to rob a stagecoach. Sorry, Lenny, I can't say hey to you because you'll ask me to rob a stagecoach. Which I kind of do want to do, but at the same time, I kind of don't have time for that. Uh, is there food? Can we eat? You're in a good mood. Yes, we can eat. All right, let's eat delicious soup, stew, whatever this is that I have, Mr. Morgan. Hello. Oh, I guess I should donate too. I should have done that while I was upstairs. Ah, all these micromanaging things that I need to be doing and I keep forgetting about. You mean like a normal family? Look around you. Uh, hey, I'll donate cool later. About any of this. Yeah, that. It's a nice place you brought us to, my brother. Yes. Lovely, isn't it? Uh, makes me miss freezing to death in the mountains. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. Yeah. What? You Take it easy with that drinking. stuff. Is there ever a point that you're not drunk these this days? This is taking it easy. Hmm. I don't know what happened to Karen yeah. that made her fall off I know how you so feel. hard. Alright, let's go say hey to Hosea. Hi. Hosea. Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch Vandalind is finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> oh, great. Son of a bitch. So now we have to go play dress up? Because, um, I guess I can afford it, but I don't want to spend my money on it. I don't know what I'm hoarding this money for. Like, Arthur has turned into a dragon that just hoards his cash. We are ridiculous. <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There could be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> so let's get drunk before we go to the party so that we can't function while Gentlemen, we're Gentlemen. Wow. Luca. That's a hat. I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions mm. after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. Hey, wait, don't touch me. Arthur's like, nah, I, I'm good. Gentlemen, oh, Senior touch. Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. Look at Bill's shoes. We are honored to be. <laughs> That's wonderful, wonderful. That. Come, come, this way. Uh, with a beautiful evening it shall be. Oh, and man. Mr. Bronte is a very good friend with the mayor. We clean good up so here. nice. Senor Napoli. As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know. Uh, Mr. Bronte, he has uh, that thing, you know. Uh, respect. Jose, Bill, you joined the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Bronte. Oh, oh man, I gotta go pay respects. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. Uh, I wanna go do the fun stuff. Like drinking and eating tiny snacks. I mean, every party like this has tiny snacks, so... <coughs> I'm not sure what 
that is. Mm. Okay. I guess that's the style of art we were all into. <laughs> hey, they have gone. How come we've gone for an hour? The angry cowboys, you've arrived. And you've washed for the prima volta questo mese, senza dubbio. Oh, <laughs> this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. <laughs> so, this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, <laughs> Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley, a, a confederate major in the war. I mean, a hero, they say, but that, this is his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. Oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> oh, this guy's and that... That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I'm not taking None taken! <laughs> <laughs> this is an uncomfortable situation. All these vulgar like people. They hate me. <laughs> non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire! <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. <laughs> good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well... We, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you... Pff, as a guest, yes, as my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. Si. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. I'm pretty sure we can figure me. out where the party was at, but that's cool. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. Let's go join Bill and Gentlemen, enjoy Jose. Your evening Sorry, I was like, who else is once here? Again to ciao, Thanks. Ciao. This is so fun. Dodge, this is a really Gentlemen, bad idea. Let's go ingratiate ourselves. Do I have to? Good evening, sir. Are you going to go talk to people? Okay. Go find the mayor if you can, and stay out of trouble, and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Jose, you go find us some place to rob. Bill, go make us some new friends. Oh, man, I don't like this. Uh, I'm mingling. I don't understand social situations very well. Why am I stopping? If that's French culture for you, sign me up for French lessons. Gentlemen, I hope I guess I was waiting on that guy. I just wish it wouldn't let me go anywhere. What? I knew this intellectual here was just insulting me regarding the Redskin. I did no such thing. But, Mr. Lemieux, 
I suggested that all of us, as Americans, had a duty to take care of people living in this land. And that extends to Saint Denis. It ain't complex, and you. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, so, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy! You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah. What say you and me cool off? Oh, I'm, I'm gonna escort a troublemaker away. Off me. No, you're being a douche. And I get that you're drunk, but on, you'll say those things while off. you're drunk. You'll probably say them while you're sober, too, so get out of here, douche. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. How do you do? Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Le Mieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. That's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. Ryder? We seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Fireworks. Oh, oh, oh. My lord, they're fantastic. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come and sign you in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find out what. Sure. I mean, I didn't really think that spying was our forte, but I guess so. I guess Arthur is one of those like golden child children that can do literally anything. I'm just good at everything naturally. What's your problem? Don't get too yeah. Yes, everybody enjoy the show. I wish I was enjoying it, but I have things to do. Follow this guy. Man, the fireworks would be so much more interesting than following this dude. Sweet, sweet, sweet. I am being sneaky. No problems. Huh? Everything's fine. Just we have the place well secured. Right Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hogs. Thank you, Mr. Turner. Okay. Don't get. Hey, I don't want to fall too far behind, though. Is everything taken care of? The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. Look at me being sneaky now. I'm like... Hiding. Find that little reprobate chip and beat him. I will not have standard slip in this house. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> Who do you think you are? Oh, come this on. It's not meant for the likes of you. You know this. Standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight. Don't be a douche. These people are all assholes. I mean, I guess he's doing his job, but... Smack her. W words are fine. You didn't have to hit her. I am being sneaky. Letter 
he's still in there. Isn't he? Oh, okay. And sneak, sneak, sneak. Sneak, sneak, sneak. I'm not a criminal at all. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Top secret. Extremely confidential. Very interesting. Well, at least you know. That sounds like done. Okay. Return to Dutch at the gala. Alright, bye! I was lost. I was just looking for the bathroom. This place is very confusing, you know. Good, this one's open. One in the middle. Alright, Dutch. I found this. I get prizes now. Find anything? I think so. Nothing. This town is a waste of time. Maybe not. I think. Gentlemen, I think we're done here. Yes, please. What did you find now? Out of here. Plenty of money moves through here, of course, and I, I think I found out how we can grab some of the big bank. Real one, I mean, but not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. If we're gonna leave, that could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high-stakes poker game. Mm. Come on. I guess we're gonna try for all three. I mean, why, why go for small fish? Well, you can steal it all. Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. <coughs> Go home. Lenny's uh, driving I away. I never okay. felt so awkward in all my life. All I... them folk all so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. Uh, anybody see you take this? I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. Dutch having ideas. Oh, no. Oh, good. Let's go back to camp and get out of our monkey suits. Because those guys, like, it's nice when people dress up and whatnot, but they look really out of place. In the nice outfits. It's like weird, man. <laughs> Interesting times. <laughs> I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions. See how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. And where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. <clears throat> oh man, it's just one thing after another. We got three big things that we could be doing. I bet they're all on our map already, too. Let's see. The question mark is a stranger. Okay, so that's to help the Native Americans. And then this is Trelawney. Ooh, we got another Charles Chadney. Oh, yeah, that's right. We need to go to his uh, gallery showing. I think that's it. I mean, I know we've got that Strauss thing forever that we're just not going to do. Oh, we didn't do any bounty missions. I really don't think we're going to, though, because usually, like, bounties, it's so that you have money. But I'm kind of rich, so... <laughs> oh, speaking of being rich, let me, before we're done here, I'll just go donate to the, the thing. When we come back, though, next time, we're going to go do the Charles Chatney quest first to go ahead and just get that out the way. Uh, mostly because I, that guy's just hilarious to me. I get it. He's not the greatest, but uh, I think he's funny. Uh, 
would like to donate to the strong button. This. And this. And another one of this. And I don't. That's probably. That's $7. Never mind. You guys can have that. Alright. Cool. Gold pocket watch. We have five silver pocket watches. Which apparently is the most that we can carry. Of those. Oh, I guess I gave the maximum amount of money at the moment. What, what all do we have in here? Uh, next page. Uh, let's restock that. Uh, we'll restock that. I guess I have to purchase that before I can restock. Oh look, now we have pumpkin. Cool. Okay. Uh, I can't. Let me buy the food. Okay, whatever. Uh, restock that. We don't have money for these things. I like that it's like, do you want a camp boat? No, what am I going to do with it now? It would have been helpful in the last one, but I, it's useless now, and I'm glad we didn't buy it. Because we can always just steal boats, so who cares? Uh, Dutch wants some stuff. That's nice. Uh, I kind of want to get that because it'll let me swap my horses and whatnot at camp, but we don't. I don't want to pay for the extra of it. I don't want to pay it, says the person that has $4,400. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. That's fine. There we go. Okay, so that's, that's where we'll call it. I'm just going to go ahead and walk down the stairs whilst I'm doing this. And when we come back next time, we will go into San Denis again. Go see what Charles Chadney wants and uh Karen's I tell you what, what? little Miss Romance. I what? Are we was fight? right. About what? Sandini. How so? It ain't romantic. It's evil. <laughs> evil can be very romantic. Shut up. I talked to this couple in town. They told me there's this old rumor about people drinking blood. Ew. Human blood in town. <laughs> That's just a silly old wife's tale. What? Blood drinking ain't romantic enough for you? Depends on whose blood. Very funny. Ew. <laughs> I love Mary Beth. She's fried in the romance, Arthur. So she makes some nonsense. Don't we all? <laughs> All right, we'll come back next time. We're going to see Charles Chatney and go to St. Denis and all of that fun stuff. So I will see you then.